for Science on a Sphere. My name is Lexis and I have Tracy here with me and today we are going to talk about our beautiful moon. The moon is the closest thing to Earth in our solar system. Uh, it is the largest thing that we can see in the night sky. But we can also see it during the day sometimes. The moon is visible day and night. Another thing we can observe is the moon moving across the sky because of the Earth's rotation. Lexus, is there anything else we can observe about the moon from the Earth? Well, when I go outside and look at the moon, I notice all of these craters. Now, craters are formed from meteors, so big space rocks, that are crashing onto the moon's surface, creating these holes or dents while kicking up a lot of dirt and dust. Now, there are a ton of them that I can see. The biggest crater on the moon is at the moon's south pole. This crater is as deep as Mount Everest is tall. The sun never shines at the bottom of this crater, and NASA uh, is planning a mission to visit this crater, which is crazy cool because we have not been back to the moon since 50 years ago. Now, we can see that there are a lot of these missions right here. Now, they happen on this side of the moon with all of these dark spots. This is also the side that faces us, and it's just the easiest overall to communicate with astronauts. Now, here at the planetarium, we actually have a rock from the moon, and it came from the Apollo 15 mission, clear all the way up at the top. So when we open up again, I invite all of you guys, please come down and visit us so you can come and see a lunar rock. Now, along with these next missions that are going to be happening for us to visit the moon again, not only are we going to visit different areas like the South Pole, but we're also going to be sending the first woman to land on the moon. So, it's pretty cool because us girls get to go out there and join them. Now, these missions are going to be part of a series of the Artemis missions. And you can look online uh, with our links below to find the next five-year plan for them. So. The moon is not the only place in the solar system with craters. The Earth, even though it looks much different than the moon, also has craters on the surface. Here is a map of where uh, meteorites have been found or, or asteroids have hit the surface of the Earth. It doesn't look the same as the moon because the Earth has an atmosphere and liquid water. So uh, the wind can come and wear down the craters, water can fill them up, or plants can grow and cover them up. So even though we have those craters, they look much different than they appear on the moon. One of my favorite things to do when using the Earth and talking about the moon is to discuss the sizes. So Tracy, how big do you think the moon would be compared to our Earth? Well, I know the moon is smaller than the Earth, but I actually have a scale model. So this would be the size of our moon if the Earth was as big as our sphere. This is about one quarter the size of the Earth. But even though these are the right scale size, this distance is not right. Even though the moon is the closest thing in the solar system, it's still pretty far away. The diameter of the moon is roughly the, distance, the width of the United States, uh, and the moon would need to be 100 United States away from the Earth to be far enough away. For more information and cool activities, look in the link in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Clark Planetarium. Keep looking up.